Crime, public safety, and our economy continue to be top issues for Marion County voters as they look at the upcoming elections and race for Indianapolis mayor. But after our investigation on Indianapolis Animal Care Services aired, our viewers asked us to dive deeper. Our viewers want to know about the animal welfare and how candidates plan to address the crisis. Angela Gannot went searching for the answer. April 6th, Mo euthanized. They don't focus enough on adoptions, they don't focus enough on fosters, they don't focus enough on rescues, and they just put whatever energy that they have into euthanizing dogs. The feedback from our special investigation into the crisis of Indianapolis Animal Care Services has one central theme, keep shining light on this issue. Viewers and volunteers are frustrated that a proposed new animal care facility has not been built. Too many cats and dogs are being euthanized. Bad animal owners aren't being held accountable. At last month's mayoral forum, a Marion County voter asked Mayor Joe Hogsett and candidate Jefferson Shreve how they would fix the crisis. What we have today from an animal care services standpoint is simply shameful. It's a priority of this administration, and I'm proud that several years during the course administration, we have set record adoption statistics. We offered Hogsett and Shreve equal time to lay out their plans. Hogsett's team declined and referred us back to our investigation and an interview we did then with the director of the city of Indianapolis Department of Business and Neighborhood Services. We all care about animals. The folks that you met with, animal welfare is part of their identity and part of their purpose in this life. It is for us at ACS as well. Come on, Goose. Jefferson Shreve agreed to sit down for an interview. He and his wife Mary have owned two rescues and in the past 10 years have donated hundreds of thousands of dollars to area shelters and animal rescues. Shreve says if elected mayor, his paycheck will be donated too. I'll donate back my salary as mayor of Indianapolis to the charitable arm of animal care services. Shreef said if elected, he would also use his position to demand more prosecutions of bad actors when it comes to those committing crimes against animals. The top priority, building a new shelter. He called out Mayor Hogsett for promising one, but not delivering. And we need to get off our butt and get going on this replacement shelter because we've marked time for three years and we haven't, we haven't turned the first shovel of dirt on a, the foundation for a replacement facility. Shreve believes the planned location for this new facility in the east side neighborhood of Sherman Park is flawed, plagued with environmental issues with five million already invested on remediation and more needed. He plans to find a different site, one he says the city can be proud to walk through. It embarrasses me to see what we're doing on Harding Street with our own city. Shreve recently toured the current facility and believes the overcrowding is inhumane. He wants more vet care for animals waiting treatment and surgeries. And when a volunteer showed him the freezer, he was angry. DTPW just comes around periodically and collects the, the corpses and takes them to the dump. To the dump. Although many shelters do dispose of their animals in this way, Shreve believes cats and dogs should not be put out with the trash. He said he will work to get a sponsorship like Hamilton County. Pet Angel cremates their animals and spreads their ashes on a designated nature trail. This is nonpartisan. I mean, this pulls at the heartstrings, not at the party affiliation. Our city is just better than, 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 than what we evidence in the way we care for animals that are on the streets. We're just better than this. Ultimately, Shreve wants IACS to be a no-kill shelter. He says it will take more funding, but believes he can find the money in the city's $1.6 billion budget. It's a goal others at IACS have had in the past, but with thousands of cats and dogs taken in every year, it has not been attainable. In Indianapolis, Angela Ganote, CBS4. Mayor Hogsett released his plan last week in a news release. It includes a consultant currently coming up with an action plan that includes hiring more staff, increasing funding, and launching a community sheltering program. You can read his entire plan at CBS4Indy.com.